back to uh, Great Day Live, live from the Big Four Bridge. You know, we're giving you a big preview of Waterfront Wednesdays. They are back just below us here. Tents are set up. Uh, Laura Shine joins us once again from WFBK and Nick Hill from Forest and the Photons. Yeah. Say that without yeah. a lot of coffee this morning, yeah. right? You, you know, Nick, talk about what it, what does it mean to you to be featured in Waterfront Wednesdays back after two for, for, for a minute? You know? um, it's just totally awesome. Uh, we were so excited. It's such a good platform for local musicians. Yeah. Um, there's so many people, <laughs> for one thing. It draws like a crowd of like 10,000 people. So that's a huge audience for a local band. Yeah. And um, it means the world to us. And we're very honored that FPK had us back and that Louisville supports its local music community so much. They do. They really, really do. You know, and when you were uh, walking up, hiking up the ramp here to meet us for our live location, I asked our producer Bryce, I'm like, uh, so tell me all the different things that Nick does with the band, right? And I'm like, and he's like, everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> well, not so much anymore. Uh, I've got a couple other folks to help me out now, uh, and they're awesome. Uh, I do uh, piano, guitar, and vocals now, uh, and then Andrew does. It's not enough. Not you need to do more. <laughs> oh, okay. Not enough. Well, I'll start. <laughs> I'll bring in the hammer dulcimer, and uh, we can put you behind the camera. Yeah. We can put you to work here too. If okay. You need to. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, Andrew uh, helps fill out that mid range a lot more uh -huh. now with his guitar, um, and. Uh, Scott's playing a lot more heavy on the drums, and Jalen also fills it out a lot on the bass. So, To be back here at Waterfront Wednesday and performing and be embraced by the community, it must almost be like a family reunion to see other local artists, to see the family from WFPK supporting you. What, what does that feel like when you just show up? Um, it feels great. I mean, it just feels very, we feel very lucky yeah, yeah. to have that kind of community. Oh, Laura, that's that's the whole point of your work, right? You know, we talk about you being kind of a local DJ, a local voice known here, but that's the other hat you wear is promoting and, and getting these these acts together. And to hear that, that's that's your world, right? That's exactly what I would love to hear is what Nick just said. And I do want to plug Nick because he also writes the music and uh, they're going to be taking the stage at six o'clock tonight yeah. uh, on the Big Four Lawn and Waterfront Park. And um, yeah, I mean, one of the great things about Waterfront Wednesday is it does give a platform to local artists and huge audiences. And we have a merch tent set up so they get to sell their merch. Um, you know, it's it. There's hardly anything more rewarding to me personally. I'm also the local music director. I handle just the local, all the local stuff that we play. Uh, so I get to know a lot of these musicians, and uh, it's just the best feeling in the world. It's just a great sense of community, and I, I, there's nothing I like more than promoting what we do locally. And the first of many Waterfront Wednesdays. We know you're excited about the entire summer. This is going to be such a great season. You have such uh, a great season. You have notes, yeah. right? Isn't that you have notes? There's so much to talk about. It's very true. Uh, also, you can go to WFPK.org. The full 20th season is posted there, so you can see who else is coming. But uh, next month, and, and let me just say it's always the last Wednesday of the month. So June 29th, we have War. Remember that song, Lowrider? Um, they've done so many great songs. Uh, War is going to be our headliner, uh, a Lexington band, now Louisville, called Bendigo Fletcher. We've got a, a great indie, up-and-coming indie band called Wombo, also from Louisville. Um, we have Moon Taxi in, uh, in July. Moon Taxi puts on one of the best shows I've ever seen. They're phenomenal. Sarah Shook and the Disarmers, one of those bands that not a lot of people know yet, but you're going to absolutely love. They rock. Um, Joan Osborne, she's from Kentucky. She's a nationally known artist. She was just here for the Derby, too, so she's coming back again. Yes. Joan will be with us in August, and also a, a great soul band called Serotones. And Mark Charles, who's one of my favorite songwriters of all time, he lives in Louisville now. He's amazing. Uh, Yonder Mountain String Band will be closing it out September 28th. Uh, truly a fantastic jam band, that was very bluegrassy, but jam. Um, Hot Brown Smackdown and Houseplant, they are both uh, local bands that have terrific followings, and it's just going to be a, a fantastic season. So when do you put together your dream list of acts for the next season? Well, we're always making suggestions, like everybody does, yes. to our program director, Stacy Owen. She books the entire series. I have nothing to do with booking it. I might suggest someone, especially local bands, yes. uh, because she knows that I'm, I'm very familiar with them. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's really up Stacy's alley, and she does just an incredible job. Yeah.
phenomenal job, you know, and um, with Nick here, he was talking about how it's almost like a family reunion. Do you feel like that too when you see some of the acts that you haven't seen in a while? I always do, yeah. yeah. And, and, and not only that, but just seeing so many of our listeners that sometimes we only communicate with through email or texting or something or Facebook, and we get to see them in person and we get to talk to everybody and see our, our favorite vendors that are here. And um, it's, yeah, it's always like a reunion every time. Yeah, and I feel like, you know, music brings people together. Music is so healing. I got to get you back into this. Don't don't wander away from me, right? Like you've been healing to people over these last two. Right? That's heavy, right? Like I mean, I really it's it's it. People really kind of needed, I think, music through these last two years. Um. Well, I, that's the the goal I think with yeah. music is to uh, help with some healing and uh, mu some music's always been therapy for me. Yeah. So <laughs> cheap right. therapy or free therapy. So we'll remind everybody, uh, gates open at five. Uh, merch food trucks too yep we'll have uh, lots of food trucks and and uh, but vendors with their booths and a big bar so um, yeah gates open at five I music he's excited about it right um, um, uh, Nick and his band uh, forced in the photons will take the stage at six o'clock at 7 30 uh, they'll be followed by boa boys who are a blast and then at nine o'clock Maggie Rose and her band and Maggie Rose don't miss her don't she's miss her. an incredible singer she's one of those artists that you're going to be able to see here for free but then she's going to explode we did a preview on her and oh my goodness yes yeah. all right uh nick i got to give you one more job okay you're going to take us to break you're going to let everybody know you'd like what uh, tell everybody that uh more great day live after the break uh more great day live after the break <laughs>